Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was doing in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm sure some of y'all are wondering, Joe, why do you have so many gold picks in your inventory? And I'll tell you. It's because now that 1.9 pre-release 6 is out, I can actually mine stone bricks super fast with it. And Vetch has left me a portal to the nether that was strewn with, uh, a ton of stone bricks. I can have so many stone bricks out of that portal that I will go mad, probably. You will see me be insane with the power of the stone bricks. So I'm heading there now. I'm going to go and uh, do some stone brick related culling and then uh, experience stone brick related madness. And y'all are along for the ride, whether you like it or not. Well, actually, you can choose not to watch me do this. So I'll try to make it extra hilarious. Because extra hilarity, or additional hilarity for those of you who love addition, um, can really spice up a little bit of a normal video log, uh, a normal uh, Let's Play experience. We're just going to go all out. Waka waka doo yeah. Okay, so let's see. What have we got here? Plenty of fire. It'd be a good physical comedy for me to fall in the fire, but I don't think I'm going to do that. What's in this box? Nothing. Well, nothing's funnier than nothing. The concept of hoping for something and then losing it is also patently funny. Ha ha. Okay, so it looks like I never actually really secured this portal area as well as I had thought I had secured this portal area. So are these spawners going to kick in as soon as I'm, like, up here? Are they kicking in now? Okay, good. Um... So let's see, things I brought with me, flint and steel, let's set something on fire. Okay, so we got a creeper down there who's definitely just waiting for us. And he's not too much of a problem, it looks like. If I can actually kill him. Okay, so I've got this wonderful partway completed ladder here, which is a bizarre piece of structure. Um... Well, if nothing's spawning right here, I think I'm going to go ahead and, for additional hilarity, I will create a crafting table. A uh, crafting table is a portmanteau that combines raft and coolness and also a bunch of stuff about tables that no one really cares about. So we're not going to acknowledge that part of the uh, name. So we got a bajillion sticks here. A bajillion sticks can make, like, four ladders. So let's do that. Okay, um... Get us some blocks in play as well. Oh, I can hear that portal. It's calling to me. And I'm hoping I'm high enough up that nothing's gonna, uh, that them spawners aren't activating. Does indeed seem to be the case. So, uh, let's go ahead and mine through there. Okay, so this was already a dumb plan because apparently, uh, the, uh, Okay, so apparently this goes directly onto the portal itself, which is kind of bizarre. And I can't place blocks while in the portal's grasp anymore, which is different, but okay. Okay, so let's see. This is the little entranceway Vich has gave us with the lapis lazuli. Ooh, a bit of iron here. I should make sure to grab that. Um, I don't really need the lapis for any of the projects that I'm working on right now. What else have we got here? Some redstone... This is just like an additional resource area you may remember from my last visit. Howdy, Joe. Now you can join the fun of version 1.1. Enjoy. Your pal, Vitches. Um, so let's see. The real treasure down here that I'm after is these wondrous, wondrous blocks of stone. Look at how quickly they've mined now that I've got these uh, crazy uh, golden pickaxes in uh, 1.9 pre-release 6. And I'm already... This is getting a little out of hand. Because the pickaxes literally leap out of my hand when I'm done mining with them. See, that was a pun. If a pig man spawns in front of me... Oh, there are ghasts in the nether. How had I forgotten that? I was like, oh, the nether. It's a happy, fun time joy land where nothing ever goes wrong. And that's incorrect, I guess, now that I think about it. I gotta make sure not to mine out any spaces that are big enough for gas to spawn in then. But in the meantime, let's just wreck these gold pickaxes like they weren't purchased. Because they kind of weren't. I mean, I had to work to get them. But 
it's not quite the same as you know having to go to an office. It's you know getting attacked by skeletons, which is way more fun than going to an office. That's why so many morticians went into their field. You know, morticians get beat up by skeletons all the time. Or am I thinking of a, a not astronomy professors? Uh, what's the thing with the study of the human body? Anatomy. Anatomy professors get beat up by skeletons all the time. Um. Yep. So, um, my betrothed is currently uh, making her applications for graduate school, and we don't know where we're going to end up moving, depending on where she gets in, but she's going to have to... Whoa, that was a silverfish block! Dang it, bitches! I am really, really, really displeased with you. Okay. Okay, bitches. Okay, you win this one. That was clever. No, be on fire. Be on fire. Okay, bitches. That was good. That was good. What? These things can hurt me now? Okay. Okay. So you got me. You got me. Okay. Um, so what was I talking about? Skeletons attacking people? So in addition to the other stuff in here, apparently bitches has seen fit to add silverfish. So, thank you, bitches. I guess I shouldn't have assumed that there would be a resource area full of wonderful things and have it be not horrible. Um, that was just folly of me to assume, I guess, in retrospect. But on the plus side, I'm literally coming home with, like, stacks of these blocks, I'm hoping. And I can use these to spruce up my base and make it look awesome and to complement my... See that one? That one's a silverfish one. I can tell because it takes forever to mine out. Oh, yeah, look at that. Two stacks of stone bricks already. These are all silverfish ones. These are not. So, okay. I guess he just put a vein of them in there. So I just gotta be careful not to smack that particular vein. And I won't have any worries. Whoa, did that just fall really deep? No. Okay, good. Um. So yeah, uh, she's gonna have to take anatomy. And I was thinking, oh, it might be fun to learn about anatomy with... She was thinking about, like, boning up on it before she actually starts school. Um, so that way she wouldn't be, uh, you know, completely coming in without a clue. And I was thinking, oh, that might be neat to do with her. And, you know, learn all the funny names for the bones. So that way when I get hurt in Minecraft, I can be like, oh no, I have broken my superior vena cava. How inferior of my play style, or whatever. Oh, this is a neat room. Are there a lot of rooms in here? Huh. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything of particular value in here, like a single iron, but... I'm guessing there's just kind of like gaps like this throughout. Well, either way, time to grab more of these. And... One gold pick left, and I'll have like three uh, whole stacks of them, and I'll head back to my base. This has been a pretty successful adventure so far, but I'm really a little bit worried about getting back out at the end. So yeah, that's uh, stack number three, and whatever's left in this pick. I might need to use some of these immediately to shore up the area around that um, victory. No, not victory. Uh, what do you call that thing with the portal to the nether? The nether portal. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully when I emerge from the nether portal... I will not be immediately beset upon by monsters, and I can, oh, should I secure the portal better here, so the gas don't shoot at it? Well, no time. Just going right in. Okay. Okay, so now we might be about to be in a world of hurt. So let's just, yeah, see that's the hurt I was worried about, or worlding about. Okay, okay, so that went surprisingly well. That could have gone a lot more poorly. I'm going to come back and secure this area for real later um, with more lights, but not while I have three freaking stacks of uh, these uh, victory bricks. There's no room in the monument for them. They're not a monumental thing. You know, you don't put it in the victory monument. They're not monument issue, I guess you might say, or some people might have issue with me putting them in the monument. But um, they are going to be greatly helpful 
and shoring up my base and making it super awesome and even cooler looking. And I want to get a cool like waterway um, with multi-level farms and all that stuff. So this is going to be the materials that I use. Um, I've already grabbed a whole bunch of dirt using all the golden shovels. And now I've got all the golden pickaxes and I'm excited. Let's get this party started, you know. So let's see, what do I need? I'm gonna need some melons and a minecart. The melons are just more for my smile because it cheers me up. You know, I'm like, oh, look at how happy I am. I've devoured these melons. And then the minecart, well, that's for getting going. No, no, bad. Dang it, minecart. You are continuously the worst tool in this game. Ugh. I only put up with you because you are an exceedingly rapid form of transportation. So there's my new little uh, minecart upways, and that'll just dump me right at the base by the Victor Monument. And then I've got another connector that uh, runs all the way from here out to the Castle Bailstein. Or when I say here, I mean my base up there. And lots of quick turns. But yeah, so you can see the uh, Bailstein um, connector there. So slowly but surely, oh, and there's my little uh, shoring up dirt area. I should probably light that from underneath too, but... Oh well. So anyway, um, just real quick to illustrate what I was thinking. My plan was to kind of um, put a whole bunch of brick like this, so that way if gas shoot at it, the dirt doesn't get blown up. Um, you know, from like if they're shooting at it from underneath. So I put all this brick up here, and then I put dirt atop it, and I kind of have a hill that protects me from any gas like that might be out there. Um, and I'm probably going to have like a raised area here that's more than one block wide. So it might actually even look kind of like uh, this and then I'll have it layered dirt top it. And, uh, you know, then I'll get some real farming going on. Whoa, what am I hitting? Oh, the edge. That would do it. And a lot... I want to be extra careful about light all around the Victor Monument, even if I'm about to place dirt on top of these bricks shortly, just because uh, if any ender endermen spawn and move the wool, I will be really, really, really out of luck, and that idea does not please me. So until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.